पे मौका दिया इसके लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद श्रीमती अपूर्पा पोदार जी थैंक यू थैंक यू सर सर फॉर गिविंग थैंक यू सर फॉर गिविंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर द डिस्कशन ऑफ द कंसर्निंग मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड हाईवे सर आई वुड बिगिन माई वर्ड्स विथ द फॉर्मर ब्रिटिश प्राइम मिनिस्टर मार्गेट थैचर वेर इट हैज बिन सेट दैट यू एंड आई कम बाई रोड और रेल बट इकोनॉमिक्स ट्रेवल ऑन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर whenever we talk about the word infrastructure the first few words that come in our mind is road highway and transport and today we are discussing on the demands for grants for ministry of road transport and highways india has the second largest road network in the world of about 63.72 lakh km consisting of national highways expressways state highways major district roads and other district roads village roads out of which national highway is 1.41 km lakh km the total expenditure of the ministry of road transport and highway of 2000 for 2022 23 is estimated about 199108 crore which is nearly about 68000 crore more than the revised expenditure of 2021-22 the allocation have increased and some major announcements have also been made which is a good initiative but i have certain questions and suggestions which i would know from i want to know from the ministry the government has sanctioned the express way between varanasi to kolkata under bharat mala uh, project phase 2 and it will pass through khanakul assembly in hogli district which falls under my aram uh, which falls under my parliamentary constituency arambagh i request the ministers to ensure that this work is completed in time bound manner and allocation of fund should be given so that there is no issue regarding uh, for the completion of this project because khanakul is a flood prone area and if this happens many bridges will also will build up which will be a very good communication from khanakul to kolkata also a large number of national highways across the country have dangerous potholes and need to be maintained in a better state i would request the minister to allocate some part of the part of the maintenance budget to thoroughly monitor the vast network of national highways across the country to be able to carry out the repair works of potholes within time which will enable to prevent any possible accident due to poor state of nhs there is a it's there is a need for a research fund not only regarding road construction techniques and material used but also to study and develop better mechanism to monitor the quality of road across the vast nh networks in the country the major challenges while traveling on highways is the absence of proper signs directions for the necessary amenities like toilets for women police station trauma care center in the hospital which i would again suggest the minister if any man mandatory clause for the contractors that while constructing highway there should be a proper sign of direction uh, containing information about the near uh, nearby police station hospital or tra trauma care so that if any uh, un unhappy uh, incident occurs so that they can uh, get in touch with the local administration out of total man the very uh, important point sir out of the total manpower working in nh include both regular officials and those of the deputation as on august 30 august 2021 is just 1189 out of the total sanction strength 1882 the standing committee on transport has mentioned that given huge financial allocation made on nh each year to ensure a sufficient manpower is in the place so that to make a optional utilization of the available fund i request the ministry to have a comprehensive review of the existing recruitment rules of nha may be finalized at the earliest and sincere effort 
may be made to ensure that all the vacancies presently lying unfilled in NHA are filled up at the earliest. There is a huge, huge role to huge role to play by the good connectivity in economic growth of the country. The ministry should request the RBI to grant a priority sector tag to the road infrastructure sector in order to encourage financial institutions and bank to lend high amount of supplement the maintenance and growth of NHA network in the country. And last point which I would uh, make, the ministry should reach out the private sector with the proposal to invest CSR fund into road safety initiatives such as training of drivers, road safety awareness, developing infrastructure for quick reaching out to the road accident victims which will save many lives across the country. With this few suggestions, I conclude. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Sri Devendra Singh Boleji.